Hi, now we are going to backup a non-cPanel hosting account and for this particular example, a GoDaddy hosting account. Click on client area and log in with your email and password. Inside, click manage backups. Here you see the, there are two choices to backup a cPanel or web host manager users or non-cPanel or web host managers. So we are going to use the second part here and we're going to go with the my SQL backup first and then FTP backup to backup all our files. So let's do the my SQL backup. Here we need to download our backup script first and add all the databases we want to backup into the script. I'm going to save the file and double click and I'm going to open the file in my text editor and I'm going to save it as and uh, just rename it to any file name you want. For security just change the file name from mysqlbackup.php to something else. For example backitup.php just remember to and the file name with .php in the end. After that, <coughs> you need to change or add all the databases that you want to backup. And to do that, I'm going to grab my GoDaddy databases and I'm going to go to godaddy.com. I'm going to log in. I'm going to go to web hosting <coughs> and click the manage account here. This is a demo account I have set up with GoDaddy. And scroll down to databases here. Click my SQL. Here I have two databases, one is for PHPBB, the second one just a test database I set up. Now to see the details, the connection details, click here on the edit button. We have all the host name and the database name and the username. So I'm going to copy this and put it here as the host name and then I'm going to copy the database name put it here as the database name between the single quotes and uh, my SQL username between the single quotes make sure you don't remove the quotes there okay oh sorry that's the password field so I'm gonna use this one and the password you need to enter the database password if you don't remember you can change the password and make sure you also change it on your website so that's the first database I want to back up my second database I'm gonna go back here and click on my second database which is just a test database with no tables but that's just for this demo sake let's try to back it up too the host name between the single quotes, the database name between the single quotes and the username between the single quotes as well and the password which is the same. So that's that. If you need to back up more than two databases simply um, set up the same thing you can back up like 10 databases, 20 databases, as much as you wish. And don't forget to save this. And we need to upload this backup script into your uh, GoDaddy hosted website. So you can do it two ways. Either you can just upload this file into your GoDaddy account or you can also upload it um, or create a new file in your GoDaddy account using the file manager. So what I'm going to do for this demo is I'm going to actually upload this file 
into my GoDaddy hosted website using their file manager. So I'm going to click uh, back to the hosting center and I'm going to go to um, content and file manager. So I need to create a new folder which will be used to store all the backup files. So the database backup files will be stored locally inside the GoDaddy hosting account and then we're going to use the FTP backup um, um, module from here from site auto backup to actually retrieve those files into the backup server. So let's create a new folder or a new directory. I'm going to name it my SQL backup and click OK. So it's creating a new um, folder or directory here and I'm gonna go inside the directory and I'm going to upload my backup script. Click upload and I'm gonna upload it, back it up Where did I put it? Okay, and I'm going to click upload. It's going to upload the file. So it's there. So uh, make sure this file is accessible. And I'm going to open up a new browser window here and go directly to it HTTP foodwebservice.com MySQL backup back it up there if you have um, the right location you will get that and that's uh, the correct location so I'm gonna copy this and go back to our site auto backup database backup GoDaddy this is just the label of the backup you want to do and the script URL, you're going to paste the location where you upload that script. And the maximum backup set, I'm going to choose 3 for this demo, which is going to be a daily backup at every 3.15 a.m. just for this example. Click add. There we go. MySQL backup script verified. So we have two tables being back, uh, two databases being backed up. One is this one, and the other one is uh, a, a test database which has no tables yet. So that's that. I'm going to go to backup manager now. <coughs> so um, if I run a backup right now, it's gonna do the backup and store the files inside that uh, MySQL backup folder we have created. Let's try that. So backup has been initiated successfully. Let's see. Go back to our file manager and I'm going to refresh this. There's our backup files. So it's stored locally here. So for example, if I run it again, I'm going to close this up. If I'm going to uh, run it again, back to backup manager, I'm going to run it again. We have two now. And it says that it's, it's stored here, right? So as we can see, it is actually being stored there. Here's our second backup file for each databases. So what if we want to bring it off-site into the um, site auto backup storage you have with us? To do that, you simply need to set up an FTP backup which will retrieve these backup files as well as, as, well as the other um, let me close this as well as the other um, files and folders you have in your GoDaddy account. So next step is to backup everything you have, the files including the database backups which is here inside here into our backup server. So let's do that. Click FTP backup here. <coughs> 